In today's video, we're going to be talking about Tatch. This is probably the most comfortable take-home sleep test I've ever tried, and I've tried quite a few. So before we begin this video, I want to put two disclaimers. The first was that Tatch was kind enough to send me a one-night free trial to allow me to assess this product. I was not paid by Tatch to make this video, so this video is in no way sponsored by Tatch. All my opinions are my own. Now, the other disclaimer I want to say about Tatch is that this device is for investigational purposes only, and it even says that on the box. Now, with that in mind, I still think that this is a very innovative sleep tracking device, which is the right step forward in order to discover how well you are sleeping throughout the night, how are you breathing. So I've had the chance to use many different sleep tracking devices throughout my life. The worst and most uncomfortable one I have ever had was the first one, which actually just diagnosed my sleep apnea condition. And that's where I had to put all these electrodes, all these really big bulky devices on my body and also attach a million wires to my body. That was extremely uncomfortable. And obviously that was an official medical device that was able to actually diagnose sleep apnea. You see, the main problem with a traditional medical sleep tracking test is that one, it requires you to be sleeping not at your home, you'll be sleeping at a sleep clinic in someone else's bed, which makes it really hard to assess your sleep in a normal at home sleeping environment. Number two, the sleep test is also very expensive and very time consuming. It takes a long time to wire in all the devices on your body and it needs to be set up by a trained technician. And lastly, for number three, as mentioned before, the actual device that is tracking you is very uncomfortable. You can forget about going to the bathroom at the middle of the night. I have to commend Tatch for making sleep tests more accessible for everyone due to its ease of use and the comfort. So how exactly is the Tatch device so innovative and so comfortable to wear for a sleep test? Well, the first and most obvious thing is the design and the build quality. It is extremely light. It only weighs 12 grams and combined it's only 24 grams. You barely notice it. But most importantly, the way it's built, it's just very smooth and it's very soft. So when you put it on your stomach and underneath your rib cage, it feels very comfortable to wear throughout the night. You have a lot of flexibility in your sleeping positions. You don't have to worry about placing it on your head or on your wrist or anything like that. It just allows for a very normal, comfortable sleeping position throughout the night. At first, I was a little bit worried about the adhesive technique to attach these two sensors on your body. Of course, some people have body hair, and when you move around, maybe the, maybe the tape gets a little bit loose and maybe it'll fall off throughout the night. Well, I'm happy to report that the adhesive tape that is used on these two sensors are very strong, so you don't have to worry about them falling off throughout the night. I was able to move, toss, and turn, and when I woke up in the morning, none of the two sensors moved around. So I was very impressed with how well it stuck to my body throughout the night, despite all the tossing and turning. I think the key aspect of Tatch that makes it the most practical and most comfortable sleep tracking device is where it's attached to your body. Obviously, it's attached to your stomach. So this gives you a lot of flexibility in how you want to test your sleep. Let's say, for example, you want to wear your CPAP machine, your CPAP therapy, in order to treat your sleep apnea, but you want to see how well your sleep apnea is doing. Well, you're able to do that, and unlike some other devices where you have to attach the sleep tracking device on your forehead or you have to wear something around your mouth that obviously eliminates the ability to use your CPAP therapy so this is probably why it is so non-invasive another issue with some of the other sleep trackers for example the ones that are you wear on your watch like a wrist or on your finger is that say sometimes you might cut off your blood circulation maybe you're sleeping on the side this may cause the device on your wrist or on your finger to report inaccurate readings when assessing your sleep breathing quality through the SpO2 sensor. So you might be wondering, how do the sensors work in the patches? How do they collect the data and what type of data they're collecting? Tatch has mentioned that the device has an optical and mechanical sensor that detects various physiological signals. The patches can measure respiratory effort and breathing dynamics to reflect the quality of respiration throughout your night. And this makes sense. If you think about how strategically these devices are positioned on your body, very close to your lungs and also upright so you can detect what position you are sleeping throughout the night. In addition, Tatch also measures the movement and sleep positions in order to correlate this information with other types of sleep data. Before we get into my results, I do want to mention that in order for this to work, I had to use my iOS device, an iPhone for example. I was not able to use my Android, but this is the time of filming so it may change. So in terms of the sleep report, I have to say it is a very simplified sleep report. It's very easy to read and it does give you a lot of insightful information. For example, it tells me what sleep position I've been sleeping throughout the night in terms of percentage. And I've learned that I sleep slept on my back quite a lot. 
When you get your sleep test through the email, you can actually book an appointment with a sleep professional that will go over the results with you. Now, in terms of the respiratory data, I was reported as good. And I think that makes sense, a lot of sense because I was using my CPAP therapy in order to avoid any stop breathing events, my sleep apnea events. Now, in terms of the restfulness, yes, I did score pretty poor and I didn't have a lot of sleep <laughs> that night. I went to sleep rather late. But overall, I have to say I was very impressed with the presentation of the results. I found it to be a good balance between showing lots of data and but not being too technical and kind of hard to understand. So in conclusion, I have to say, Tatch was an amazing, comfortable sleep tracking device. I love that it's non-invasive. I love that I can take it at home and do a sleep test without having to wear all these bulky devices. And overall, it's just a very simple, easy to use device with a really good presentation of results in the end. I'm very excited for the future of sleep devices and I'm very happy that a company like Tatch is investing so much money and time and resources in order to make sleep testing devices more comfortable and more innovative and more insightful so that you can get a better night's sleep. If you enjoyed this content about sleep tech devices and wearables in general, do consider subscribing to my channel as I love to post about this content. And also give a like, it really helps the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.